Vandy in the home whites, UIC in the nice powder blue with red as Kamar Rocker deals to Thomas Smart to get us going. Good job holding up there. Hit him in the hand. Rodriguez says something to home plate umpire Jordan Farrell, but this will stand as a hit batsman to lead off the ball game. Botcher, another fifth year senior. Think, Swings and misses. Yeah, I think they're going to call a balk. It did look like that was a little bit quick. I think Rocker didn't come set, but we might get a good replay here. We'll take a look. Yeah, it looked like he just kind of went straight through. Strikes in that strike zone. Four pitch walk. And their second series. Bunt back to Rocker. Only plays to first for the out and a successful sacrifice. Sacrifice them both up. Swing and a miss, strike three. Big strikeout for Kamar Rocker. Now all a one to Norton. Line to center. Bradfield comes in and makes a diving catch. Enrique Bradfield Jr. gets Vanderbilt out of it with the team's best defensive play of the year so far. And Bradfield, a heck of a play. Got a really good jump. Nice dive. That's why you like that freshman in the outfield. Actually had a, a curveball that he almost got a good hack on, but that one not able to come up with. That stretch. Called strike three. Fools him with the slider, and Jacob Key goes one, two, three. Right there again, got him. Got him for strike three with the sword, and Rocker has his second strike out of the ball game. We listen to kind of where they are. There's another strikeout. Three out of the last four have whiffed against Rocker. All swinging Ks. A no one to Cole Kahn. Hitting hard to center. Bradfield on the move, and it lands. Kahn going for second, and he's there with a double. Bradfield was shaded to left center, and Kahn pulled it into the right center field gap. Off the hands, Young charges, gets around the baseball, and gets the out. A two-out double for Cole Kahn, but nothing more for UIC. Score. Get him out. Rodriguez lines this one over Lynn Pystrup for a single. So a runner comes off the board, but Vandy back in business with two outs. We'll count pitch to Colwick. Ball four. Back-to-back -back two out base runners after the pickoff. Half swing, he went strike three. Jacob Key walks a couple and gives up a hit, but pitches around it. Pierce was on the three, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Kamar Rocker, effectively wild. <laughs> I was gonna say, I know, I know that wasn't really what he wanted to do, but. It Out for Rocker. Now Botcher, pass first and fair into shallow right field. Botcher headed for second as Thomas digs it out. And that's a double. Second hit for UIC, and both of them have been for extra bases. Swing and a miss, strike three, but it leaks through Rodriguez, and everybody's safe. Botcher goes second to third, and Tressen aboard on the drop third strike. Runner goes first to second, Rodriguez throws, and Tressen's safe. Botcher holds the third, and it's second and third again with one down. Grounder to second. This will get the run home as Colwick throws to first. one nothing UIC, and Kamar Rocker allows his first run of the season. Swing and a miss, strike three. Rocker gets his sixth strikeout, but a drop third strike sets up UIC's first run of the series as an offensive player, and he really has swung the bat well as we see a gap shot that went out. Wow. Goodness gracious. Home run number four for Carter Young. Ties this game at one. I was going to say a gap shot that seems to fall, but it just kept riding on out of here. Fell in row one. And that's what he can do. You can take a look here. The fastball just stays up in the zone. Get some good backspin on it. It keeps riding out of here. And the wind's even blowing in, so that thing had some good energy behind it. 
A heck of a job by Carter Young. Another 2-2. Swing and a miss, strike three with the slider. Strikeout number seven for Kamar Rocker. I think so much and get told how good they are. Grounder to Carter Young for the second out. So it's, it's really easy for, for guys to look. All made contact with the ball. And now he's missing bats left and right against every team that comes into Hawkins Field. A one, two, three, fourth, and eight strikeouts through four for Rocker. One older guy. There's ball four. Third walk allowed by Key. Lines this one to center, and that's a base hit. Back to back, one out base runners for the Commodores. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned that, Max. As we first and second, one out here in the fourth, and that one got him. Bases loaded with one down for Jason Gonzalez. Teams this year. Gonzalez pops this one up. Great result for Jacob Key with the infield fly in effect. Big second out. Yeah, probably the second game back. Swings first pitch and bounces this one to Moore. UIC's out of the inning. Jacob Key leaves them loaded. And last year did not play. Called strike three. Ninth strikeout for Rocker. Dang. Smart lines this one out to right field, but Thomas positioned well. Two up and two down. To do it again here. Swing and a miss, strike three. Ten strikeouts for the first time this season, and Kamar Rocker is through five. He and Rocker have done a really good job. And Young lines this one towards the right field corner. Turns and heads for second as Smart gets it in, and Young safe with a leadoff double. This will get the run in and be an RBI single for Parker Nolan. Bandy's got their first lead of the game at 2-1. And that's a great view of why Carter Young getting to third base on that tag was so important. It's just a little squeaker right to the four side. And Carter Young sees it through, able to score easily. But a heads up base running. Norton a long way, called off by the pitcher Key, who makes the catch himself. What? Chopper up the middle. Young calls off Colwick and gets the out. Ten straight retired by Rocker. He used that strong arm too much. Here goes Nolan, first play of the season. And he got him at first. Tough play for Parker Noland in his first start at third. Yeah. Horton. Called strike three. Third straight one, two, three inning for Kamar Rocker. And he's got 11 strikeouts through six. This after retiring in 2016. Young grounds this one into right field for his third straight hit. Rip to left, Tressen going back. Off the base of the wall. Young was tagging, but he's going home. Relay play, and it's an RBI triple for Dom Keegan. A lot of the home runs that are hit, I think are just gonna be doubles. That one I thought was out of here in a hurry. I just kind of died right there. Bounced off the bottom of the fence, and Tress and the left fielder had a little bit of issue getting it. And take a look at Keegan. Realizes it's off the bottom. Starts heading for a second. Has to make sure that his teammate is, has gone from third all the way to home, but wind's blowing in a pretty good bit. Another RBI single for Parker Nolan, and it's 4-1, Vandy. The Commodores continue to wear out that four hole. UIC was playing in, so he didn't have a great angle to make a play on that, but 
Nice effort by Moore at first base, but wasn't able to get a glove on it. In base. Rodriguez on the ground, knocked down by Norton, but he can't hold it and everybody's safe. Colwick hits this one to right center field. Deep enough to get the run in as Smart makes the catch. Nolan tags and scores, and it's 5-1, Bandy boys. That ball is not carrying out there. Good swing of the bat, but. Swing and a miss. Lopez goes off speed and gets out of the inning, but Vandy adds three runs on four hits to make it. They led 1-0 in the third, and he slaps this one into left field for a hit. Davis digs it out as Rosario heads for second with a double. Liner played off of Colwick's chest and into right field. Rosario heads home and scores. UIC answers and cuts it to 5-2. That's another good opportunity or, or a good example of some potential sun issues for Colwick. It's tough to see the ball off the bat. He also had second place umpire, sorry, second base umpire Jeff Bottoms might have been in the way of, as well, so he wasn't able to get a good read on it. Regardless, he got off his chest and UIC able to score one across. It's a short, young, Colwick, double play. Well turned by the Vandy infield. Hard grounder, second baseman Botcher was deep, and he completes the one, two, three inning. In the Flames order. Swing and a miss, strike three. Luke Murphy pumping 96. Grounded, fair pass first. UIC's got a one out base runner, down three in the ninth. Key in the seventh. Rounder to third, Nolan to second for one. Vandy boys win! Luke Murphy finishes it off and the Commodores take the series.